Just six days into February and a lot has already gone down. Just in case you didn't get a chance to follow the news throughout the week, here's a quick rundown of the biggest happenings. I am La Yemi Fieles and this is Paul's Weekly Recap. Let's dig in. Black girl magic. Black girl magic. Shay Shay receives heavy backlash over her congratulatory message to Rihanna. Nigerian singer Shay Shay earned herself a great deal of backlash on social media following her congratulatory message to Barbadian singer Rihanna. Rihanna said the internet abuzz with reactions on Monday, January 31, 2022, when photos of her now obvious baby bump made rounds on social media. Reacting to the photos, Shay Shay put up a congratulatory tweet on Tuesday, February 1, 2022. The triggering part of the tweet for a lot of Nigerians was where she stated that she was one of the very few people who knew about the pregnancy since last year. Instagram comedian Isbe Yu finally responds to the sex for role allegation. On Monday, January 31, 2022, skit maker Isbe Yu finally broke his silence over the sex for role allegation leveled against him. The comedian had received heavy backlash for allegedly demanding sex from ladies before featuring them in his skits. In a video shared via his Instagram page, the IG skit maker took full responsibility for everything and also stated that he would love to move past the allegation and continue making skits for his fans. Nobody can raise you like Jesus. Sami Okmoso returns to Instagram. Nigerian gospel singer Sami Okmoso has returned to Instagram days after deactivating his social media pages. It will be recalled that the gospel singer had taken a social media break after he put up an Instagram post where he apologized to his wife for cheating on her. Okmoso's apology came barely 24 hours after a lady by the alias African Door accused him of impregnating her. Upon his return to social media, Okmoso claimed that he is now free from the power of sin. We will, if they don't be given justice, this school cannot be opened. A Romani family doctor reveals that Sylvester was taken to a church for treatment. Sylvester Romani's case has taken yet another drastic turn. During court proceedings on Tuesday, February 1, 2022, the Oromoni family doctor at Gogo Owojede revealed that Sylvester Oromoni was not taken to a hospital for treatment. The doctor told the court that rather than seeking proper medical care, the ailing Oromoni was taken to church for prayers for an unspecified number of days by his family. Sylvester Oromoni's death went viral on social media after it was alleged that he had been bullied and force-fed an obnoxious substance by fellow students of Doan College. They are here. They have confessed to the crime. The port you are seeing in front of them, that is the port they use. Court remands four Ogun State teenagers in prison for alleged murder of girlfriend for ritual. On Thursday, February 3, 2022, an Abel Kuta magistrate's court remanded four teenagers in prison for the alleged murder of 20-year-old Sofiat Okeowo. News of Okeowo's death made rounds on social media on Saturday, January 29, 2022, following reports that the four teenage boys conspired and murdered her with the plan to use her for money ritual. The accused allegedly killed her by cutting off her head with a cutlass. Court proceedings on the case will resume on March 14, 2022. ASU set to begin indefinite strike. The Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, has revealed its intention to embark on yet another indefinite strike. According to the union, the federal government is yet to address its demands despite countless meetings. It will be recalled that in November 2021, the federal government promised to address the basic demands of the union within seven days. It's a wrap, guys. Don't stop viewing, liking, and sharing our content. Until next time, bye.